going on, guys? This is Real Deal Fantasy HQ with the boy LQ. This is another series of very special guests today. Tatum Bell, former Denver Bronco, man. I'm so happy to have you on, and I'm actually very appreciative of you giving me the opportunity to have you on. Man, appreciate you for having me, my brother. Yeah, man. Uh, what you been up to, man? Uh, you chilling right now and just lounging out? Yeah, I'm chilling. Uh like I like I, I just recently moved back to Dallas uh, mm -hmm. and in Colorado 16 years uh you know I'm I was uh you know I'm retired so I'm living a retired life I uh yeah been coaching in Colorado the last eight years actually because oh, wow. football. Uh -huh. I've been coaching with uh some guys I went to college with and and they pretty well established out there in Denver Colorado and I was coaching with them guys and uh now I'm here in Texas I'm looking you know I haven't necessarily you know, I've just been getting settled, man. I'm not really looking to get back into coaching. Yeah, it might take a year or two off. But yeah, that that was I my next question for you. That was my next question for you when we got to the coaching. I'm flying around, I don't want. Man, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you good? <laughs> Go ahead, but no, I uh, yeah. So, man, that's what I've been doing in my free time. That's what I, I enjoy enjoy doing. I have um three kids and fifteen mm -hmm. year old, a twelve year old, and I have a wow. three have one on the way and man i'm pretty busy with them they keeping me busy with all the sports they're in and so i'm just either getting them to the sports or getting you know coaching them or training them or doing some 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 kind of work with them keeping them active yeah that's good i mean congrats for the one on the way man are you having a boy or a girl you don't know yet uh, boy on the way a boy it's boy, my last yeah. girl boy girl boy man that's my pattern so and i'm doing <laughs> after this yeah I got I got a I got a little girl. She just turned two last okay. week. And I got a son. In two weeks from now, he'll be turning four. So I think I'm done. Boy and girl. Right on, right on. Yeah, nice. man. I, and I'll see you into fantasy and stuff. Yes, sir. That was my next question. Are you into fantasy? I'm I'm all about fantasy. I've been doing mock drafts. You know, I'm I'm yeah, that's me. Oh right. fantasy. yes, yes. I've been playing. 10, 10 years now. Damn, you're a vet in the game. Yeah, I, yeah, I've been playing. I started when it first started. I, I, that's back when I was playing ball. Oh, wow. So, yes. Yes. I'm, so were I'm you playing, playing during your season? Say what now? Were, were, when you were playing, were you playing fantasy football, like, during the, the season? First ever, they had a player's league in the fantasy mm -hmm. football, and I won the first year. Oh, snap. In the NFL, I want to say, well, I think I got the trophy that I just thought it was a, it's a big old trophy, and it, and it got messed up in the in the container on my move, and I told the wife I'll just throw it away because it was all smashed and stuff. But it was it's a ah. big old trophy. I won it the first year. So the second year they flew me out to San Diego, and uh, you know it, it was twelve guys in the league. But yeah, I won the first year of the league, and it was pretty awesome. And then I've been playing ever since. Yeah, man, that that's that's dope. I mean, do you remember who was on your squad? Like who who you picked out that helped you get to the goal? I I, I don't remember. I, I remember picking myself. Yeah, <laughs> of course. I what picking round? Myself at the time. What round you pick yourself? Man, I, it was hard. To, I want to say this was like back in 06 or oh yeah five or oh six. I don't really remember, but I want to say I picked myself pretty high. Okay. Yeah, that, that, yeah. Hey, you I, I want to bro. say like third or fourth round. I want to. There say. you go. Yeah. There you go. You got to bet on yourself, and and you won that year. So it's like yeah. you ain't you ain't lose no sleep over nothing. Exactly. You exactly. The gold. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, I, uh, that's that's about me and the man. I uh, you know, I'm all about football and all about coaching. I'm all about the yeah. team. That's love. So, yeah. That's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So have I'm you won first. since that one time? Say what now? Have you won since that first time? Uh, uh, not that league. I only played that league twice. Okay. NFL league, and then right. moving forward, I've won. I have a league personally, and I have I play in two of my buddies' leagues, and okay. uh, I, I I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm doing okay. <laughs> it's um, been getting different. The game has changed now. So yeah, yeah. Are so, standard. Like, yeah, what you so we got in a lot of cats draft these quarterbacks early in in drafts. So it's it's funny. So a lot yeah, of people, yeah. you know. Yeah. But, what, what league are you playing in, like PPR or standard? I like PPR. PPR? All right. That's where I live and breathe at, right there. Like, I, I like can't really do standard. So, yo, so when I get my league started, I'm going to have to come to you for some advice. Yes, sir. I'm putting out the latest and greatest content out there, man. Oh, that's perfect. perfect. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
came to the right spot. Not many people out there in that industry that look like me either that's trying to do what I'm doing. Man, that's good, man. That's good. Definitely. Proud of you, man. I got You're a Rams fan? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, okay. die hard. I've been a Rams fan since I was a little one, man. I just, something I just grew up on. The first game I watched was the game show on turf, so like it just stuck with me. You know what I mean? So I've been a loyal fan. Like I've been through the Fisher days, you know. Ooh, you know what I'm that was tough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was tough. Hard. That was hard to get through, but you know we made it, and we here now. You know what I mean? Yeah, y'all okay? Y'all okay? Got, right. the new, got the new unis, new stadium. Yeah, hopefully that bring in some, you know, some 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 good good juju. I want to say, you know what I mean? Right. Bring in some uh, wins. You know, we gotta win more than nine. Right, right, right. You know and, what I mean? Uh, let, uh, let's let's jump into go ahead. Let's jump into your your career. How was your overall NFL experience? Oh, man, it was the best time of my life, man. Mm -hmm. I, uh, you know, it's like they say, it's easy to make it to the league, and it's hard to stand in the league. And I really didn't realize that until you know nobody didn't want me anymore <laughs> that you know how hard it is to stay in the league but i had it was the best time of my life it was like a dream come true when you got drafted and to play on the field with guys that you've been watching on tv prior years and, yeah. and work out and i played with champ bailey and al wilson so and rise smith them guys man three of the, three of the hardest working guys in my life man and yeah. it's laid and carry over on the field so that's what i always wanted to practice and have my work after after those guys but that my experience was awesome, man. I, it was the best time of my life. Yeah, man. I played I mean, four years. Go ahead. You had, how, how were those conversations with Champ Bailey, man? And like, what you got legends in the locker room, and just looking back, like you were in the same room with these guys, and like you were watch, like you said, you're watching these guys on TV. That has to be like amazing, man. That got to be like a once in a lifetime feeling, right there. Man, my rookie year, we had Jerry Rice in our locker room. That now that was the craziest thing. And, you know, his locker was right across from mine. And mm -hmm. I was all in odd looking at him and stuff. It was it was starstruck. It was starstruck, man. Then he yeah. ended up, you know, retiring in the middle of the – in the preseason after the third game. And, man, that was just – and I never got a chance to, you know, really just – Wow. Yeah, that man. happen. Yeah, man. It was just – he retired and that was it. And was there any whispers? There was, like, was there a heads up or was it just like – I mean, we kind of knew, you know, because yeah. he was taking it easy. He wasn't the same. But it was just the point that it was Jerry Rice. Yeah. His locker was right across from me. I didn't even get an autograph or get a chance to even really get to talk to him. But that was – Yeah, was, I'm sure he would have dropped some gems on you too, man, if exactly. he would have been there longer. Cause, exactly. Damn, that's a legend too. right there. Mm-hmm. Now, I, I, I got to gas you a little bit, man. I watched the highlights, though. I think to this day, you were the most explosive Denver Broncos running back out there, bro. Man, but thank you, man. I, uh, Mass, I like you hit that hole, you were gone. Man, I I, I only I, I had a couple of gears, and then if I can get to my top gear, I was gone. But I got caught a couple of times. Well, only one time with the Broncos, but the Patriots caught me, like a 60 mm. But other than that, I... Wait, when you saw sunlight, it was a dub. <laughs> <laughs> it was over. Appreciate like, it. Like, you was a power runner, bro. Like, you ran hard. Like, even when you ain't have daylight, you wanted that contact. Like, that's what I got from watching your highlights. You wanted that smoke. Give, give, give me an ugly four yards every kid. Yep. ugly four mind. yards. Give me, give me an ugly four every time. So, that was my mindset. Yeah, so let's jump into the your one two punch with Mike Anderson, man. That that was yeah. something amazing to watch. Like that that that's crazy when I look at you guys stats and you guys were literally a one two punch that some of these teams today can't really replicate right. or mirror. You know what I mean? Right, so right. That's crazy. Everybody to wants to talk about Mike, you know. My rookie year was it was uh Ruben Drones, mm -hmm. he was the guy. And then my, my, my second year that would have been that was Mike Anderson and myself. And Mike had a thousand, I had nine hundred, I believe. You were like nine seventy something, bro. You you were right there. Yeah, man. We played the Chargers the last game, and they were so yeah. tough. That was the best run defense in the league. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was that was a good season, man. That was the year we went to the um, AFC the, the AFC Championship game. We mm -hmm. lost to the Steelers. Man, that was a great season, though. Mike, like I said, yeah. Mike, Mike, Mike was the thunder. I was the light. Yeah. Mike says, man, when I get in the game, man, I gotta get hot. You know, Back. if I get hot, they'll keep me in there. They'll keep putting me in there. They keep they'll keep trusting me more and more. And that's, mm -hmm. how, that's how I thought, you know, Mike getting there. And, and if he if he couldn't get going hot early, then when I got in there, you know, I got to make do. Tear it up. You know, I got to tear it up. If I don't, yep. you know, Mike could get all of 
carries. I know he'll get the goal line and show you all his carries. We already knew that going into the game. But yeah. as far as the every other series and in between the 20s and 20, you know, I had to, I just had to get out there and prove myself and prove to my teammates yeah. and just have to put trust in them. Mm -hmm. How did that work, like, within, like, like the system? Like, were you guys, like, feeding off each other's energy? Like, were y'all guys, like, you know, gassing each other up? Like, yeah, bro, good shit, you know what I mean? Like, how did that work? Yeah. Yeah, we were we were we were each other's uh, biggest critics, and yeah. we you know we uh we always hey man you missed that cut or I saw this cut and or you missed that block or blah blah. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it was hardly ever missed cuts or missed blocks. We had one of the better running back coaches, Bobby yeah. Turner, and and he's in San Francisco San Francisco now. But he was one of the better guys, and he stayed on us and harped on us, and he had us coached up to the T. It was like man, it was like a machine, mm -hmm. and and I was just part of the like you know part of the you know, part of the machinery that was already in place. They already had it in place, and I was just a piece that that fit my style. Of, you know, the zone the, that was my style of running, and yeah, and, and getting coached up by Bobby Turner and Shanahan. It's just, it was just a good feeling. Kubiak, Kubiak was my offense coordinator, so it was okay. Yeah, it was, man, I was yeah, a, over there with that staff. That was like, that's why it worked. That's why it worked. Kubiak I mean, Kubiak's still running the ball now, in Minnesota, mm -hmm. <laughs> with the same staff. <laughs> and, uh, that's, that's what I'm saying. It works. It, you just gotta, you just gotta teach it. Yeah, yeah. You gotta teach it. You gotta get the right guys. I mean, are, you're still it. keeping up with Denver today, obviously, right? I am. I, I'm Girl, a big time Bronco fan. So you see Melvin Gordon <laughs> and Philip Lindsay. Ooh, it's gonna be nice. You think it's that's gonna? Nice. You think it's gonna mirror? You think it's gonna work? I, I, it's gonna have to, cause Philip, when Philip gets in, he's a baller. We already know Philip. Yeah. And. and and Gordon's a baller, so he just has to stay healthy. We know Philip can stay healthy. Yeah, we just need Philip just to, now. Now they can take the load off Philip a little bit, but it's gonna be nasty because Sherman likes to run the ball. So we'll see. Yep. We'll like see. Fantasy. It's kind of hard for me to invest in a Melvin Gordon and then not invest in Lindsey. You know what I mean? If that if that's gonna be the one-two punch you and Mike had, I want all parts of that. You know what I mean on my team. Right, right, right. I was thinking the same thing. Like you have to get both of them. Oh, you got to get both. Yeah, because like these mock drafts, I'm seeing Phil Lindsay fall very low. Yeah, right, yeah. right. He, he, he's been slept on his whole his whole career. I watched him come up in Colorado. I coached his two little brothers. Oh, his word. Two younger brothers. Yeah, so I coached him, and 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 that's why I coached with his family. You mm -hmm. know, a lot of his uncles, two of his uncles, and his and his and his cousins. I coached. I played with them. But that, yeah, so I know the heart that he has, and, and you know, go they pay Gordon, they not gonna pay me. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go out there and show him. I'm gonna so go out there and show him. He gonna go, so he's gonna be one of my sleeper guys. I'm gonna get. Yeah, man. And what are, what are your thoughts on Royce Freeman, man? I mean, damn, I, I wanted him to go off so bad. Like, what do you man, think? Man, I, I like Royce. Man, Royce ran hard last season, but mm -hmm. they, they didn't. They didn't just. They didn't do Royce no fight. They kept running Royce outside. They kept. Running. Outside. You seen it too? They run Royce outside and then run him up the gut. Outside. So they they had the runs mixed up. That's why I heard Royce. But Royce, yeah. he had a better year last year. But now he got Gordon, so. Yeah, he got, play, kinda, he got to play special teams and you know play that third. That you know he just got to be ready, man. He just got to be ready all the time. Yeah, you know, anything can happen. You know what I mean? It can go. It can easily go back to Lindsey. You know Freeman if Melvin Gordon right. goes down injured. Right, right. You, you know, know what I mean? Has a history and 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 what Phillips is pretty much durable, but mm -hmm. they just gotta. They just gotta. If them, if one of them go down, Royce has to be ready and ready but, to step up. Now we got Judy. You didn't talk about Judy. We got Fant, we got Fant coming back off his tight end. See here, yeah, talk your shit, man. We gonna have Fant. We gonna have who else? We got man. We got Drew Lock. I, I, I have faith in Drew Lock. Okay, I have faith in Drew Lock. Drew Lock is my boy. I, yeah, Drew Lock came in with three and one, four and one, something like that, and he has a rocket too. So yeah, I, I, I seen his college tapes. I did a I did a rookie uh guy a uh, rookie draft guide, and he was one of the guys that uh I covered. And I was like, if he gets put in that spot, he gonna show out. Yeah, yeah, and we just gotta protect him. Our offensive line, protect, yeah. our right tackle just opted out, so that's gonna hurt us. And our left tackle wasn't too solid, so uh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, you gotta protect. Him. That's the yeah. main thing. You gotta protect him. If he ain't getting no protection, he's not gonna be able to do things he can do. Most back. Is that my phone? So, um, Okay. No, I heard some static. I oh, okay. 
So today's game versus the game back then, like you've seen the changes. I mean, they're trying to make football safe. You know, they're trying to make it more, I guess, quarterback and wide receiver friendly. I mean, obviously you played offense, but do you see the difference in, you know, the game then and the game now? Like which one are you really a fan of? Without you being they, biased, they take right they now. taking the cutbacks out, the the crackbacks, which they need to. Nobody wants to see the crackbacks anymore, and the, all the mm-hmm. dirty hits. They, they they've done a good job. Goodell's done a good job actually of trying to make it safer, safe as it can get, you know. And now they're protecting yeah. the players yeah. and protecting the the, the quarterbacks, especially. You got to protect them. That's the big money. So they doing a good job protecting them. But yeah. You know, as it gets deeper in the playoffs or as you get deeper in the season and into the playoffs, you know, they, they let you play a little more physical. So, but during, throughout yeah. the season, it's always going to be called and, you know, but they tighten up on them calls and or hold back on those calls and doing the playoffs. Yeah, because I, I feel like the game has gotten softer. You know what I mean? And I feel like there's only but so much you can do to try to make the game safer. You know what I mean? Because – at the end of the day, I can wear a padded helmet and crack somebody. It's still going to do some type of damage. You know right. what I mean? But there's plays where it'd be like, come on, don't call that. Like, come on. You know what I mean? It slows the game down. So I don't feel like they're trying to make the game faster at the same time. It's like they're slowing it down. Good pass interference, challenge. Mm-hmm. That's, slowing, that's slowing the game down. Which I, I, I don't know. That, that I guess they're getting, rid of, uh, getting away with it. Getting rid away with it. Getting rid of it. This year, so yeah, I yeah. yeah. I mean, we'll see the direction that they go, and like at the same time, I just wish it was less commercial. You know what I mean? A little bit less time, you know, talking and stuff, and let's just play football. You know what I mean? Like I, I watch Red Zone all week. All, all Me time. too. That's, That's all I watch. <laughs> That's all I watch, man. Yep. So I don't, I don't. I just eight hours of commercial free, and yeah. if it's a game, I, if it's a game I want to see, I might, you know. Put the double screen up, but other than it, man, I, I yeah, man, I just read all day. The whole day. Since yeah. I started doing this fantasy, I had to invest in that, man. There was no way I was going to be able to keep up, you know, yeah. on, on the channel. So I was like, I got to get red zone. It, it's all amazing. the highlights, all the big plays, touchdowns. every score and play. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. They clutch with that. Yeah, they that's my stuff. That. That's my stuff. Hell yeah. So running back, I meant to ask you, are you still in touch with Mike? Uh, not, not really. I haven't talked to Mike in years, man. Yeah. Uh, I talked to a lot of other guys like Ruben Drones and okay, uh, you know Jake Plummer, Ryan Smith. Uh, wow. I talked to a lot of guys in Denver, but not 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 Mike though. No, just kind of just lost touch through the years, you know. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know he was still living. He was living in Phoenix, but uh, okay, that was the last time we talked. Like I said, it was like about four or five years ago. Yeah, and you got any friends in the league right now that are still playing? No, I don't. No, not really. No, don't, no, I don't have any friends playing. And people that got drafted me that are still playing would be Roethlisberger, Philip Rivers, Fitzgerald. Damn, don't they all on their way out. Dang. Yeah, that's the year I got drafted. Steven Jackson, he was the mm. first running back in my class. Oh, where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that yeah. Damn, yeah. you got you got to do some grace, man. I mean, you can you know, be in the same room and have these conversations with these people, which is amazing. Yeah, man, I had a, I had a good experience, man. It was, it was a good time. It was yeah, a man. Of game I try to get my son and pass it on. I don't mm-hmm. want him playing running back. I want him, you know, try to be receiver or defensive back. Okay. You know, that's where longevity is. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Because running backs take a beating, man. And I know you see what's going on. They they trying to get paid and they got to hold out. Like, right? I don't know why it's pulling teeth when the running back takes the most beating. You know what I mean? Right. right. They kind of want the guaranteed money to ensure their body that, you know, the longevity that they will be paid. Exactly. Like like Christian McCaffrey. That's yep. how they should treat him. Go on, take over him early. Especially mm-hmm. when you earn and I played your contract. Yeah, definitely. You outplayed it the first two years, man. I think you should cash in right now. Right. Like, a lot of running backs, they get they get that pushback. They get that that bag talk, like how they were like trying to they were trying to kill Derrick Henry if he wanted to sit out and not do his franchise tag. But I was like, have you seen him play? Yeah, Derrick Henry. He, he definitely outplayed his contract. And he gets stronger throughout the whole season. So at the end yep. of the season, you know, he's he's durable. He and he's gonna run through you at the end of the season yep. when it's cold, nobody wants to tackle. That's yep. when that's when it, that's when he comes in. 
Exactly. And like you play fantasy, so you know Derrick Henry at the end of the season. Yeah. <laughs> he turned up on that ass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then a quick though. I was like, he's been cold for the first month and a half. He ain't do nothing. Yeah, he nothing. He, man, that, that heat getting to him. And then it started cooling off in this around October. Yeah. Yep. yep. Halloween. He's it's his time. You know who I think gonna be like that this year, too? That you gotta jump on Jonathan Taylor. They got an offensive line, and Mac yep. always hurt. So you might have to jump on. Uh, jump on him, You're getting them for cheap right now. Jump He's been on. going ahead of a uh, Mac too. Yeah, because people know Mac haven't been healthy all season, so it's like, you know what I mean? Like you, you got to go with the hot. They come on, they drafted the kid is special, six thousand yards. Yeah, Dang, you can't sleep on that. Yeah, I hope, I hope not no Monte Ball. Nah, 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 nah. He he he's a special kid. He's a the special kid. Back, the, the guy is the one that's coming out next season. Chubb. Chubb. Oh, yeah. mm. All right, I gotta jump on him. Cause me, I, I can't follow college ball. I got too much going on. I, I got you. I, I, I'm getting them when they become like I guess top prospects and stuff. That's when I jump on them. He's a top running back. Yeah. All yeah. right. I gotta jump on him and eight tap them. Yeah. Definitely. So, growing up, who who was your favorite team? You grew up in Colorado. I grew up grew up in Dallas. I'm, I grew up a cowboy. Oh, you grew up down here. I grew right. up a cowboy fan. I stopped being a cowboy fan in '98 when when uh they didn't draft Randy Moss. <laughs> I was pissed off at Jerry. That's a good reason. Cowboys. I, then Jerry, uh, then Randy Moss came down here on Thanksgiving and tore the Cowboys ass up for like three Ooh. touchdowns. 160, 70 yards. I don't even know. Something like that. It was crazy. I was, it was pissed crazy. Off. He only had like three or four catches that game, I think. Three three catches, three touchdowns. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. Cut them boys yeah. up. And, and, I, and then I kind of was like a freelancer. And then okay. I got drafted. I played four years here. And then I played one year with the Lions. Okay. I played three years here, and they traded me for Dre Bly. What? They traded me to the truck for Dre Bly. And That's I played crazy. one year in Detroit, hazed it, and we sucked. It was – worked hard. Team worked hard, but it seemed yeah. like when we got in the game, it wasn't the same. It was like when I was playing in Denver. A lot of guys kind of fought through adversity. These guys in Detroit really know how to get over the adversity. That was the, that was the aura throughout the – Okay. Uh, you know, not, not necessarily one player, but – that was the, you know, one. The energy, the vibe. They hit us, they hit us, they hit us in the mouth. Oh, okay, let's lay it down. That was nah. it. Yeah. See, I, I feel like with Detroit, like, I mean, the numbers don't lie. So it's not like you saying anything that's, like, lies or anything like that. The numbers don't lie. Like, right, Nick, right. Detroit, once they get punched in the mouth, that's it. Like, they, they lay down. And, like, running back-wise, they haven't produced, like, a 1,000-yard running back since Reggie. Reggie Bush, and that was like 2012, 2013. Kevin Smith, I think. Mm-hmm. I think Kevin but, Smith, yeah. But man, I uh, yeah, man, I had played five years. I wish I could have played more, but man, I had great experience, you know. I gotta tell you, that's an experience, man. That one percent, one percent. I had a good time. Yeah, and, and, and I'm blessed now, man. I can't complain. Like I said, I got. Um, you know, just just trying to take care of my body and stuff, and yeah, you know, I'm still hurting and stuff. But you know, I still try to take care of myself and to, you know try to take care of and be around for the kids and definitely, uh, you know, Most stuff. Like that. Yeah, man. So with the season starting soon and like with COVID going on, mm-hmm. like how, how do you feel about that? Do you feel like the faculty are keeping the players as safe as they can, or like would you opt out if it was up to you if you were playing today? Well, if I had like a auto auto immune disease or you know, you know something that's you know you know cancer survivor, I might you know might have that. But if I'm as healthy and really no issues, I you know, or if my family was healthy, you know, it depends. You got to take a lot of stuff in the factor, man. You got yeah. You know, they doing what's best for them. You know, you know, some of them they can't afford to. You know, they got a sick wife or a sick kid at home or newborn. They don't want to risk it. And I got newborn risking, you know, not risking nothing. We don't go nowhere and do nothing like that. But mm-hmm. we're not out and about, you know, with a lot of folks. My son's playing basketball. That is, that's the most I've been around people going to practice and stuff. But Okay. Yeah. But I, I, you have to take it serious, man. People dying yeah. from it. So, but I don't, I don't, I don't know about the, the kids, man. I just don't want the kids. I just don't want to affect the kids. I don't want the kids to have an outbreak and, you know, high yeah, school, cool. or college. You know, 
there is story like cases that you know some kids have caught it you know what i mean and like if they're not catching it they're not getting sick but they become carriers you know what right. i mean the right giving it to the grand uh the you know parents the, yep going yeah, home to the parents to the dogs, <laughs> the dogs <laughs> everybody everybody, everybody, yeah. everybody man so you know be careful man yeah, it's a crazy time that we're living in, man. And you know, I'm, I'm glad you out here healthy. You, you, you know, practicing social distancing and masking up and stuff like that. And so how is it up there where you are? You up there where, where it was a hot spot, man? It was a hot spot. It was, I mean, from April, well, March, April, it was like crazy because New York was like on fire because everybody from New York started leaving New York, coming down to Jersey. And then Jersey just shot up within that month. So like... Mm -hmm. Everything was on lock. They locked everything down, bro. And me working where I work, I work at Tesla. I'm a mechanic, essential. So I'm out there risking the every single day, getting in these risky cars and stuff. They, gotcha. they really didn't care. You know what I mean? So, like, I was just like, damn, I need to have a player some. Right. Like, it, it, it's a hot spot up there, bro. Right now, we're chilling. We're going back to normal somewhat, bro. Think like the gyms are still closed, and you know you still got to mask up everywhere you go. Like it's still not back back. You know what I mean? But gotcha. some people, slowly, like, slowly, okay. Slowly, yeah. Well, you take know, your time, time, man. Shoot, exactly. Take your time. And uh, like my kids, they not gonna go to school. They are gonna be going to online school. Yeah. I got four year old. She post our pre K. We're gonna start her with online, so we're not even gonna risk it, man. And then yeah. we'll see. Like with sports, like my my kids playing sports, so we'll see. They ready to go back. They don't want to sit home. Yeah, a lot of kids are going to go to school now. That's good, though. Now they see, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they don't want to sit at home anymore. They're tired of looking at me, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. see, my kids are still young, so they, right. they they ain't going to school yet. But right. I, I'm like, damn, where the daycare at, man? They need to get out of here, bro. They drive me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same and, way. <laughs> So I'm I'm in the basement door locked right now, and I hear them running up and back and forth right now. I'm outside. <laughs> I gotta get outside. If, when I'm inside, I go in my man cave. But in, in the media room, that's my man cave. There you go. There you go. There you gotta have it. You gotta have a man. You gotta have a place where you can just yes. go. Yes. Yes. Definitely, bro. So, um, to finish it up, I got random questions for you, bro. So, uh, well, first. Lamar Jackson or Patrick Mahomes for fantasy? Ooh, fantasy. Man. I'm going to have to say Mahomes. Ooh. Mahomes going to throw, Mahomes gonna throw five touch, four, five. He going to throw three, four touchdowns every game. Mm-hmm. But Lamar, he Lamar going to run for one, and he going to throw for two. Yeah. And then he going to yell Lamar. They neck and neck. They both three, four touchdowns a game or something. Yeah, I can't be mad at either. I can't be mad at either, especially if Lamar is only going to get better, but Patrick going to get better. We know what Patrick is going to do. We don't oh, know. Yeah. yeah, Lamar, we got to see him, you know, dissect some people throwing it. Once yeah. he do that a couple times. I got to cut somebody up. Like, I I, I got to see him, like, just – Right, Kill right. Defense. But, he, but he, you know, he's still the threat, and you know, now they got a, they got more film on them again. So we'll see. Hopefully, they might. We'll see if they can. You know, they're gonna be out playing in the game, game playing them, and they ready for him. And then Mark Andrews. <laughs> yep. And then Mark Andrews. Yep. I, I like Kyler Murray this year. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm not a huge fan right now. Like I, I'm not gonna say D Hop boosts his value to this guy. I don't know yet. I, I, I'm just not feeling comfortable taking them like that. Man, if I if I miss out on Russell Wilson, that was my boy. I've been getting he's been my quarterback the last two years now. Yeah. So if I miss out on him, I'm riding with Kyler this year. Okay. I, I like that. I like that. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people are like reaching on Kyler right now. Like let that boy cook real quick. Let me see something. Man, got Drake. Drake fit the system and and then mm. got Kirk coming back and Jerry coming, man. Mm. Nasty, man. They gonna be they right. they def then they got the linebacker from you know uh Simmons. Oh Isaiah Simmons, yeah. He he can cover. He he was just saying, like, yo, they better stop disrespecting me. Get a couple stops. Yeah. 
that boy, that boy's a dog. So like they, they got some pieces over there, man. I just need to see more. Yeah. But what's next for you, man? What what are some uh goals that uh that you have set for yourself for 2021? Because 2020 is basically a dub, like with COVID and stuff. But mm. what's next for you? I just want my kids to be healthy, man. I want them to, you know, I'm just all about the kids. I'm like I say, I'm retired. I'm just I live that retired life, so I'm chilling. Um, chilling. I got a couple businesses, you know, I'm, I'm getting ready to invest in, too. Mm -hmm. uh, I, man, God is good, man. I can't complain. God is good. I uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I was thinking about starting up coaching again, maybe this spring, or if not this yeah. spring, you know, maybe following spring. But because uh, in Texas, they have spring football, not Colorado has spring football. So mm -hmm. it's like a college, college town, pretty much. You ever thought about making your own camp, like an academy? Uh, no, I don't know. I, 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 I don't really want to be around. If it's really I, when I coach, I coach just the varsity. I really never, I never really, I really want to just deal with either my kids and his and their friends <laughs> for high school. I said, I really don't want to be, you know, <laughs> I've worked camps and stuff. No, nah, yeah, that's too much because a, a lot of players when they do the academy, it's like. It's a, like a lot of little kids. They feel like it's a daycare. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, and stuff. Yeah. I mean, if you can get the right clientele, and you know, I mean, like, like, like I don't mind helping and doing stuff like that. But I don't oh, like yeah, to sure. do that, run it, and do all that. No, I'm good. Over yeah. Over. I mean, you're doing your part. I feel like when a NFL player he decides to coach after his career, I feel like. That is doing the most. Like I just want to off the head of these coaching as well. So when you're taking your NFL knowledge, your workouts, your routines, and you're giving this free knowledge, mm -hmm. so like you're you're doing something for that kid. Like you're keeping him out of the street, you're keeping him motivated because he saw you do the same thing and you were able to make it. Now he's thinking like, yeah, I could do the same thing. Like I tell my son and daughter, I'm like. Don't waste my time while I'm out here. I'm trying to get y'all the game, like even footwork drills and learning yeah. to cut and you know little stuff. Cause I'm, you know, the ladder foot, you know, the ladder and bags. When we do stuff like that, just you know, don't come out here half assing it, you know, cause yep. you're gonna half ass it when you with your coaches, and you're gonna translate. You've been a half ass player, so you know I'm trying to get them little, little, little stuff that I know, and I get that to all the kids in the neighborhood. You know, uh, they friends, and you know. High school kids, when I've coached, you know, I always try to pass the game on. High school kids a little older because they, a lot of them get it because a lot of them trying to go to college. So yep. a lot of them get it and they trying to, you know, they don't have a, a lot of them don't have an out. So they have to go to college. You know, football is their out. So a lot yeah. of them, you'll see the ones that put in the work and then you'll see the ones that talk about it, don't put in no work. And man, yeah, I, I've been on both sides of it. I've, I've seen them all come and go. Yeah, man. I mean, I, that's really big for me because I wish when I was younger, you know, the team shit that I was doing or whatever. I wish I had a coach that showed me, like, yo, this is real. You can do this. Don't half-ass this. Don't, yeah. don't be out here, like, you know, being a knucklehead, doing stupid shit, man. Just stay in the sport. Stay in the book. Got the potential, then it's something that, you know, you don't even want to waste your time talking to college coaches because you know that, you know, they're going to, you know, come back, get sent home in a month or a year and make you can bad. Then the coach can't come trust you again. So, you got players like that, then you got the players, hey, man, you see something in them, and you know they got it. You just need to get it out of them. How can I get this? Now? That's that's the thing. That what well, You know the good – you separate yourself from the good coaches, trying to, trying to, you know, put your knowledge into them and get them to put it and display it on the field. Yeah, just get that beast down, like that hunger. Like, they, you just yeah. see they have that hunger, you just got to get it out of them, man. And yeah. Be the littlest things, like, like you said, the foot drills. Like, damn, yeah. the, the cut, like what? Man. That's what I'm working on my son now. Like he going to the seventh grade. Like you get this receiver stuff down now. By the time you a freshman, you know you ahead of the game. You just, yep. we just you know, we just trying to get on the simple stuff, the just the little technique stuff. And he like, okay, okay. Yeah, you cut your your one cut. That that shit was bad, man. That shit was nasty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you you show your kids your film though. Yeah. Yeah. You show your players. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they got, they got, they look at it all the time. They show their buddies, yeah. So yeah, yeah. No, that that that's a dope feeling, man. That that got to be amazing. It is, man. It is, man. And, and uh, they were young when I, you know, so they wasn't, they didn't even really get to see me. You know, my daughter, they, my daughter came to a game, but she was a baby. Son, uh, he was just born my last year, so it wasn't, 
So I, and, that's, and I, I that that just that they couldn't thing. get to, you know, see me play, play, but it's yeah. all good. Now I can live through them and everything. Well, support them and their dreams, you know, not even live through them, you know what I mean? Support yeah. them with everything. My son, the basketball, lacrosse player, football, he's an athlete and daughter. Yeah, he doing it all. Soccer, track, so whatever they want to do, I'm just trying to push them and help them reach their goals. That's my yeah, that's be, my the best thing, be the best thing. Be the best I can be, man. That's all. Definitely, man. That that That's dope, bro. And Again, I appreciate you for giving me this opportunity to get you on, man. This is dope, bro. Like, I want to get you back on if I can reach out to Mike. Yeah, we'll get back on throughout the, when the season starts and talk some football. Yeah, we can do that. Hey, mm -hmm. man, look, man. Start up a podcast. <laughs> hey, man, we can do that, too. I, I got a board of it. Man, we need to talk. We can yeah, do that. I'm with it. All right, man. That sounds good, brother. Thank you for having me on, man. Yeah, man, I'll, I'll, catch, I'll catch up with you in the DMs. We'll, we'll talk. We'll see you okay. We'll be back and forth. Yeah, sound good, brother. Have a good one. You too, man. Peace. Right. Yeah. Man, Tatum Bell for Beyond the Game. That was a dope interview, man. That was amazing. I mean, I love to see, you know, ex-NFL players come back and give back to the community, be coaches, and get that free knowledge, that experience, man. That's so dope, man. I, I wish, I really wish, you know, I had that type of experience with coaches and stuff like that instead of coaches that are just coaching just to get the little $15 a game ordeal. You know, they're doing it for a check for gas money. But that's dope for the kids that get to have that experience with ex-NFL players, go to their mini camps, go to their academies, go on, you know, just playing for their local team, you know, Pop Warner or whatever the case may be. But, damn, that was a dope interview, man. But I'm going to get out of here, and I'll see you guys next week for another great episode of Real Deal Fantasy HQ with your boy LQ. Peace.